okay boys and girls as the snow falls like a madman and I get absolutely drowned in snow as you guys can probably see by my hat <laughs> there's a lot of snow coming down but today we are going to be taking a look at the small Victorinox farmer this little guy is fastly becoming one of my favorite Swiss Army knives or Victorinox of all time and the reason why is this is this blade essentially fixes a lot of what I dislike about Victorinoxes now if you've been around the channel for a while you know that I don't generally like Victorinox knives because I feel that they bring a lot of versatility and a lot of multi-tool usefulness to the table but at the same time too you carry a lot of bulk and a lot of tools that you just don't end up using and so the farmer for me has to be one of the blades that while I do love my ranger and my huntsman it is my number one the farmer is my number one because it has everything that I realistically want out of a small Swiss Army knife kind of tool and nothing that I really don't except maybe a couple things but by and large this this tool has five main kind of uh, I guess you would say tools to it. They are multifunctional, some more than others, but essentially you have your, um, let's see. So essentially you have your main blade, that guy. You also have your saw, which you guys will see. I used to create a small dovetail joint just to show off the fact that this thing is pretty versatile, pretty useful, but you also have a you also have a nice little awl. And actually on the Pioneer and on the Farmer, this awl is one of my favorites. I have to say I really like the design of it and it is very, very sharp. And it is a different design awl from all the other Victorinox uh, lineup. They kind of have their own special shape. And like I said, this one is very sharp. It almost has like a knife edge to it. So pretty crazy. So those are the three uh, main tools that I really value and want to use with the Farmer. Then of course, of course, you do have your arbitrary, in my opinion, arbitrary can opener and bottle opener as I struggle to get the uh, can opener out. There you guys go. So those are your other two tools to choose from. And I don't necessarily dislike these two because they are ultimately also flathead screwdrivers or you can use them as pry tools. So there is a little bit more versatility to them than just a bottle and can opener. But overall, this is the set for this blade. It does not have anything else. There's no, you know, uh, tweezers, toothpicks. There's nothing else that is the five tools that this blade has or this tool has. But honestly, these are tools that I find to be most important. And I was initially thinking and almost got the uh, Farmer X that has the uh, scissors to it, but I ended up not going with the X primarily because I sat down and thought that in EDC, or everyday carry, you know, daily kind of living life. I do use scissors on multi-tools quite a bit actually, but out here in the wilderness, outside, I really don't use scissors at all. There's really nothing for me to use a scissor on, and anything that I would be using scissors for, I would probably just end up using a knife for. So I ended up going against the scissors primarily because I just don't think they're useful outside. And once again, I wanted to stick with that true philosophy in mind of I want to have only the equipment that I'm actually going to be using. If I'm not going to use it outdoors, then I don't want it in this tool. And so for me, the farmer is not only a very aesthetically pleasing, very nice looking uh, multi-tool, but it does have exactly that. It is the closest thing that I could get uh, for as far as size goes, you know, there are smaller, you know, things like the classic SD and that is a very small blade, very tiny little guy and uh, it's a little bit too small for realistic use uh, out here in the wilderness. So the farmer was the perfect size for me and it also had, like I said, the right set of tools. Unfortunately, I almost went with the Pioneer, but unfortunately the Pioneer just doesn't have the saw. And once again, the two biggest tools I use out of a Victorinox or even a Leatherman tool are the saw and the blade. If I'm going to use anything from a Victorinox, uh, Swiss Ar if I'm going to use anything from a Victorinox, a Leatherman, any tool like that, it's going to be first the blade, then secondly the 
then secondly the saw and then if it's a Leatherman it's going to be the pliers. I do actually use pliers quite a bit uh, more than many people might think. They're very useful for lifting things off of a hot fire you know pulling up uh, thorn bushes and stuff like that but anyways this tool the Swiss, the Victorinox Farmer is really the closest thing that I could get to having all the tools that I'm going to use that I want and nothing that I won't. In addition like I said it is also a really good size. I like this blade size and I like the size of this Victorinox as a whole. It's uh, one a very easy tool to use even with winter gloves on as you guys can see here. Probably would be a little bit harder with strictly like mittens but with gloves like these it is just fine and it is very comfortable and plus you still get a very serviceable very large blade. Maybe not very large, but sizable enough blade. Serviceable, I should say. Uh, so anyways, that is the blade. That is the Victorinox Farmer. Outside of that, the only thing I did, as you guys could probably tell, was I threw a blaze orange uh, lanyard on this guy. I have a blaze orange stuff on a lot of my things, like little lanyards, uh, including, but not limited to, my knife here. That is also blaze orange in and of itself, but... Um, you know, I have orange lanyards on different things, primarily because we are in white snow. This thing blends in very easily with its background, so having that little drop of color means that it doesn't uh, blend in quite as easily, and I can see it just a little bit better. Anyways, guys, that is really all I have to say about the Victorinox uh, Farmer. I think that this is really the best multi-tool that Victorinox makes for the wilderness. Not to mention, it is also a very pleasing to look at, very nice aesthetically blade or I should say multi-tool or Swiss Army knife. It is very nice and looks like an instant classic and it is a very well performing little guy. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this down and dirty review out in the field as I proceed to get more buried by snow and uh, as this hat gets whiter and whiter. Uh, so anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.